If you live on or near America's neighbor to the north and you're doing email marketing to Canadian citizens, you could be breaking the law right now and not even know it. I'll tell you how when we return. Welcome back. I'm Colin a Receiver here on Tuesday, October 21st. And I'll tell you that you may be in violation of Canada's newest anti-spam legislation with your email marketing. Starting July 1st of this year, Canada's anti-spam legislation, what they call the CASL, affects every person in business sending email to Canadian citizens. And the most important part of the law is to remember that you must have explicit, not just implied permission from the recipient to send email marketing to anyone in Canada. This differs quite a bit from the American laws here. We have what's called the Can Spam Act, uh, which allows you as a business to email someone with whom you have a business relationship and they must opt out if they want to stop getting your emails. CASL is meant to stop black hat style emails, but in doing so, it's really the most aggressive spam law uh, that's been passed in any country around the world. So here in the US, you can pretty much email anybody, even though no legitimate email marketing company is going to let you use a purchased or a, a rented or a bought list. In Canada, you cannot e email somebody unless they explicitly give you permission to do so. And the penalties for doing so, $10 million per violation. And criminal charges. Until 2017, the Canadian government has to initiate any charges for violation of the CASL. But starting in 2017, Canadian citizens themselves can initiate such action. This is going to affect businesses from any country, including the U.S., that email Canadian citizens. So if our Canadian viewers and those of you in the northernmost parts of the northernmost states, I'm talking directly to you. Fortunately, you've got until July 1st, 2017 to comply with the law. And for the next three years, you need to start asking all of your email recipients to opt in to your email messages. Using a standard double opt-in format is all that's required. At Smartbox, you know, we're already doing the standard we have for years because it's always been best practice. We and our clients have really no problems complying with the law. As always, I'm not an attorney, even though I am pretty good at arguing. Just ask my wife, but you should seek legal advice before doing any kind of email communication that uh, you need to get consult on. Tomorrow, I want to start a three-day series looking at some advice from my friends and colleagues over at Summit Practice Solutions and how you can improve your print marketing. I think you'll be surprised at how we apply some of these same principles to the web as well. Until then, keep moving forward.